Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials bringing us from electromagnetism to optics. This is video number 11, and I'm continuing on my subsection for Maxwell's equations. Now, in order for us to discuss the wave equation and solve it, I need to show you separation of variables, so I'm going to do that in this video. The previous videos to this are 8, 9, and 10. In 8, I introduced Maxwell's equations. In 9, I derived the wave equation for electromagnetic waves. And in number 10, I did something I'll require in order to solve the wave equation and I converted a cos plus b sine into complex exponentials. Now look, I've done a series of videos in the past on solving differential equations, so if you want you can check those out for more detail. But this will just be a fast and furious video just showing you the basics uh, without much detail. So let's say we want to solve an equation of the, fo of the form delta psi del x squared is equal to a constant times delta psi del t squared. Now the best way to write this is using the following notation. Where what we do is we, we, uh, we I suppose we imply the second derivative with respect to time. Or we start with respect to position. Now the way we solve this is the following. We note that psi is a function both of, of x and t. And what we assume is we can separate it, the wave function, in this case, into, into a function of x and a function of t. So we call that the separation of variables. So we say psi a function of x and t is to become x a function of x and t a function of t. So multiplying the two individual uh, separated um, equations should give us back the actual wave function itself. All right, and from now on, I won't write the, the functions themselves or what they're a function of. I'll just write capital X and capital T. So what we're going to do is plug this new equation, this separated equation, into, our, uh, into the equation I have written on the screen. So we need to get the second derivative with respect to position. So let's say we're just talking about one dimension. So we're going to get the second derivative with respect to position and uh, the, the time, of course, when you take the derivative with respect to position, it doesn't affect the, the, the time equation. And here we're going to have a capital X, capital T double prime, like that. All right, so this here is the second derivative with respect to time of the, the, uh, the time, equa the time uh, function. And of course, the position function isn't affected by time at all, so we can't take the time derivative of it. And on the left hand side, we can't take the position derivative of the time function, but of course we can of the position function. The next thing we do is we separate, um, separate out the, the function. So we get capital X double prime over, small, uh, over capital X is equal to A times capital T double prime divided by T. Now here's where we have a small bit of a subtlety. We have a function of T on the right and a function of X on the left. Now, what this means is that, let's say, for example, I was able to change the function on the right by varying small t. Well, that means by changing time, I'm changing my position. But this function on the left is just a function of position, so it shouldn't be in any way a function of time. Similarly, if I change the position, and by the equation I have here, it also should change the equation on the right, which is a function of time only. So how can a function which is just a function of time be changed if we change the position? Well, the answer is they, they don't. So what we have, both of these, are in actual fact equal to a constant. And I'm going to call the constant k squared, just for convenience. And the more you'll get used to so solving uh, equations by separation of variables, you'll understand why we call it k squared. So let's rewrite this equation. What we're going to get is capital, capital x double prime over x is equal to a times capital T double prime over t is equal to a constant k squared. So we can see this is now our two separated equations. So we have the following, if capital X double prime is equal to capital X times k squared and we have capital A times t double prime or excuse me, small a times capital T double prime is equal to capital T times k squared. And just to rewrite these for convenience, we have capital x double prime minus k squared x is equal to zero and t double prime, just bear with me now, so capital t double prime 
minus k squared over a times t is equal to zero. And just for, just for uh, I suppose, completion, or just to be rigorous, I'm going to write it in terms of the first derivative as well. So capital X double prime minus zero, so it's one times capital X double prime minus zero times X prime minus K squared times capital X is zero and one times capital T double prime minus zero times capital T prime minus K squared over A times capital T is zero. So what we have, here are two separated equations. And we can solve the two of these. And what they'll do is they'll give us a solution for x, a function of small x, and give us t, a function of small t. And what we do then is in order to get the wave function, we multiply both solutions together. OK? Now, just note, by the way, what derivatives we have here, because you might not be familiar with this particular um, nomenclature. So this is the second derivative with respect to position of this is the first derivative with respect to position, and this is just the, the zeroth derivative, I suppose you could call it. Similarly, we have this the second, the first, and the zeroth derivative with, with respect to time. And that is how you do you solve an equation using separation of variables. And very quickly, when can you use it? Always. Always try it. It mightn't always work, but that should be the first place you try. And physicists will always assume separation of variables works. Mathematicians mightn't like that, though. So thanks for watching, please pass it down to your friends, subscribe to my channel and you might also give me a comment on the link below.